Hello guys, Taff HD here and welcome back to another video and recently I did a video talking about all of my Macs and recently I did a video all about the speed of my 2015 Retina MacBook Pro before and after upgrading to Monterey. So I thought today I would sort of combine those two ideas and I will be doing a video showing the boot times of all my Macs. Now not all my Macs are fully functioning so I will only be showing the ones which are working. If you'd like to know about all of my Macs, that video will be in the description, but today we'll just be looking at the boot times of the ones which do boot. I won't be talking all the way through it, I'll just do speeded up versions of all the booting times and just put music over that as well. So let's just get started with this first machine. Alright, so there we go. That is now a look at the boot times of some of my Macs. Now, of course, that wasn't all of them. I haven't shown the one pound power book. I haven't shown the three aluminium power books, which are in some various degrees of workingness or not workingness. I've not shown my Power Mac G5 and I've not shown the Axiotron mod book. That's either because they won't boot they'll take too long to boot, or it's just too much hassle to get them out from wherever they are. And of course the eMac as well, sometimes that boots, sometimes it doesn't. So these aren't all of them, this is just a look at some of them, just to see what the sort of boot times are of these things. Now, I'm guessing some were faster than others, some of them still have their original drives in, others don't. For example, the late 2009 MacBook, that's got an SSD in it, while I think the rest have their original drives. At the end, right now, I'll give a quick summary of all the different times, so they will be up on screen now. But I think that that will now be it for this video. It was a pretty pointless video, really, but also kind of interesting just to see what the variety is with the boot times of all these machines. Of course, I don't really care about many of them, apart from this one, because this is the one that I have to use daily. And yes, it's got slower over the years, probably about 10 seconds slower in the past five years, but it doesn't really matter. This machine still does what I need it to, and it's still plenty fast enough for me. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting in some way, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be about a new Mac, which I am yet to show, and has not been in this video, but it does work, so that is something to look forward to. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you then. Goodbye.